Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an excellent Pobia enthusiast with decades of business experience. I thought that I knew everything about rounding. Rounding up, rounding down, any rounding, no problem. Until very recently, during a tender negotiation meeting, someone said, can we round our prices to the nearest $5? And that was when I said, maybe, because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if Excel round formula can cope with that. But today, I'm happy to say with 100% confidence that this is something that we can definitely do in Excel. Today, I want to show you how to master the art of rounding in Excel. We have our price list for 10 items and the various prices, and let's round them to the nearest dollar. The formula that you can use is round formula, type equal round, open bracket, and you want to provide an input, which is the numbers that you want to round, as well as the number of digits that you want to round it to. So what does that mean? If you wanted to round it to the nearest dollar, it means that it's zero decimal places. Therefore, you enter zero over here, close the bracket, and look at that, it is now rounded to the nearest dollar. I'm going to put that dollar amount in there so that I can click and drag the formula later on to the right. In the meantime, I'm just going to drag it down. As you can see, everything is now rounded to the nearest dollar. Let me first show you that our prices column has more than two decimal places. There are more numbers behind it. Now, what if we want to round them so that they only have two decimal places? How do we do that? Let's recycle the previous formula, Control C, Control V, press F2 so that you can see what it references and it's referencing column C. And if we want to round to the nearest cent, that's basically rounding to two decimal places. So replace the zero with two and then hit tick and we are done. We can do Control C and Control V. How about rounding to the nearest $10? Let's recycle the formula, Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, and then let's change the zero into minus one, yes. Okay, now as you can see, it's now nicely rounded. You can double click and then look at that. It's nicely rounded. How about if it's rounding to the nearest 100? Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, instead of minus one, replace that with minus two like that and if you want to round to the nearest 1000 you are right all you need to do is change that to minus three how about if we want to round our numbers to the nearest five dollars can we use round can we recycle this formula if we are rounding to the nearest ten dollars and we put minus one does it mean that we just put minus 0.5 uh-uh, doesn't quite work. So what we need to use is a function called mround. With mround, the input is the numbers, and then you put comma, and the other input is the multiple, which is the $5, if you want to round it to the nearest $5. So I'm just going to close that and look at that nicely rounded. Press F4 in here so that it can automatically add dollar dollar, and then later on we can drag it down. Yeah. So let me just quickly show you that. And then I'm going to just double click to drag it down and watch that nicely rounded to the nearest $5. If you change that, that can be rounded to the nearest 50 or the nearest $1 or the nearest $100. So M round is a super versatile formula that you should try to use if you haven't used them before. How about if we want to round up? Just type equal, round up, open bracket, the numbers that you want to round, and the number of decimal places that you want to round it up to. For example, the nearest $1 means zero decimal place. Like that, yeah? And then let's put dollar sign to the left of column C so that we can click and drag to the right. If it's nearest $10, then the input is minus one for the rounding. Yeah. And then if it's minus 100, then it's minus 2. And the 1 cent is 2 decimal places, so that's 2. And just like before, there is no such thing as rounding up to nearest $5. We need to use a different function, but we cannot use M round up because that doesn't exist. So the alternative is to use ceiling. Now, ceiling input is the number 
plus what number to round it up to for example we want it to be five dollars so just do that okay now that's nicely rounded to the nearest five dollars let's put dollar sign there so that we can click and drag our formula to the bottom voila all done How about if we want to round down same formula as before let's recycle but instead of round up we're going to replace that press ctrl f and replace round up with round down like that and voila everything is now working so with round down it works exactly the same as round up now how about the ceiling well what's the opposite of ceiling floor yes voila now they are rounding down and look at this if i change that to 50 it rounds down to the nearest 50 dollars I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if so, give me a thumbs up and see you next time!